Yes. Well, let's just start with the pie charts and who is going to win the competitions. Uh, let's start with the open section. So after round five, it is Fabiano Caruana who is leading with his chances to win the tournament 73.9%. And again, this is based on 15,000 15, tournament simulations. Exactly. Hans Niemann second, but only with 8.2%. Now, mm -hmm. after round six, we're like, going to move. Yeah. And we see a Wander Liang slowly getting. Now he's third, but still only 3%, not many chances. It is Fabiano who is leading with 81.2%. Exactly. Then after seven. A wonder is increasing his chances, 11.5, <laughs> nothing much changed in uh, Fabiano's score. But literally everybody else is going down by fractions. Uh, round eight, Fabi, 84%. Now you see, I wouldn't have given him such a high 84 because uh, a wonder Liang is playing him today. And that pie chart, could look a whole lot different. If I want to win. <laughs> exactly. How about for the ladies? Tell us who's going to win the tournament. I'm going to go with Carissa. <laughs> I mean, Carissa, after round five, when she had five out of five, she had 76.9%, which we kind of questioned because it was very similar to Fabiano Caruana's score. Right. Although her performance was, was much better. Alice Nicolier second with 8%. Uh, and then we had Tatev Abrahamian, who was having a great tournament with 5.8%. Right. But if we go to round six, let's see, it's gone. We see Carissa is slightly, slightly increasing. Clear second, Alice Lee with 8.5%. Again, it's it's very clear here who is leading the tournament. Carissa, who had six out of six. And if we go to the round seven, right? Begim, I mean, wow. wow. Okay, so 98.5%. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, but then the really, really, really big question is Carissa's chances of win winning the Bobby, Fisher's Bobby Fisher, Prize. Fisher Prize. Now, the crazy part, yeah, right. By the way, it's after round eight. <laughs> you can hardly see. <laughs> that this is, that's begging right there. <laughs> uh, that's total purple. Um, uh, statistically speaking, can she go 11 out of 11? And in the simulations, uh, the results are what? Also, I do feel like this is wrong for the simple fact that Alice still is within three points from Carissa. And if she wins all of them and then Carissa loses all of them, including the one in the 11th round. But I don't feel like that's, then that's they go into statistically a very right. unlikely. But not zero. <laughs> no, not, not zero. Not zero. It's zero point zero 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 whatever. Statistically, <laughs> you come up with that. I, I, I thought that the, we, we, we had a stat to say what the Bobby Fischer uh, chance was. I think it's gone up to 13%. 13. 13. That's a very specific number. number. <laughs> That's what I had in mind. Okay. But that was Kate? <laughs> I would your... think it's like 25%, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, wow. I would say it's around 50%. That's my guess. 50%. I, 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 I would wow. put it as high. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the under on this one. <laughs> you guys are the over.